functions of graphs can be shifted and reflected. This is really useful for graphic designers and anyone designing 3D images and objects. Here are four transformations that we need to learn. Two translations and two reflections. Notice how for the vertical transformations, we apply the numbers or negative to the outside of the X. So it applies to the whole function. So the plus four and to reflect, the negative goes outside and multiplies by the whole function. But for the horizontal transformations, we add the numbers or negative directly to the x's. So the plus four here and the negative here for reflecting. In part one, we'll look at translations in a little more detail. And in part two, we'll have a look at the reflections. So vertical translations. Bearing in mind that adding four shifts the graph up four, what do you think this transformation would do to the curve? Did you think shift the curve down by three? So for vertical translations, we add the number to the whole function. For horizontal translations, we add the number just to the x. So the plus four just goes to the x. If we had a function with this equation, to shift the curve to the left four, we would add four to every x in the equation. The horizontal translations just have one little extra detail to remember. See how the plus four shifts the curve to the left? It seems a bit counterintuitive. Adding shifts the curve left and subtracting shifts the curve to the right. So let's give some questions a go. They could be horizontal or vertical translations. Pause the video, answer the questions and click play when you're ready to check. How did you get on? So there we have horizontal and vertical transformations. We discovered that for vertical transformations, we apply the transformation to the outside of the function. So it applies to the whole function. Whereas for horizontal transformations, we apply the transformation to the x's. And also we discovered that for horizontal translations, adding shifts the curve to the left and subtracting shifts the curve to the right. In part two, we'll look at reflections in a little more detail.